In terms of the 19th and, and well into the 20th century, um, you can see across, across Canada um, uh, very, various attempts to commemorate the past. I mean, there's, there are larger scale um, pageants like the 1908 tercentenary of Champlain's landing in Quebec, um, various uh, examples in, in, um, at, in the Maritimes of uh, the landing of the Loyalists um, held in St. John, for example, or um, pl pl the planter pageants in the, in the 1920s in Nova Scotia, um, all kinds of contestations in Newfoundland over where it, where it was that John Cabot actually landed and with you know with the, um, the end result being that we don't really seem to know very clearly where that where that took place um, in southern Ontario uh, I would say the f formation of historical societies from the 1880s well into the 1930s um, across a wide swath of the of the province um, not just in larger cities and towns but in smaller places rural Ontario uh, the the erection of monuments um, is another place where you see very conscious efforts to commemorate a particular person or a particular event, whether it's General you know, Isaac Brock at Queenston, whether it's World War I monuments. Um, and I'm think, thinking here too about the prairies. Um, uh, Francis Swaripa's work on the landscape of the prairies points to the use of churches, shrine, shrines on people's property, um, sort of commemoration that straddles both public and private lines uh, that, that demonstrates how people sought to recreate or to remember a past from another country, whether it's Ukraine uh, or whether it's Poland or um, you know other places from Eastern Europe. So I, I see it, you know, running across, you know, running across the country. Um, the writing of history at a very popular level too. I um, mean, a more recent example, of course, would be someone like Pierre Burton uh, and his and his works. Um, but I, you know, I, I see that in historian historical fiction in Canada, and that stretches back to the early 18th or sorry, the early 19th century. Um, so there's you know many, various attempts to create a, to create a past for oneself, and then there's family histories and genealogies. Um, we think of genealogy as being something that's very popular today, but in fact, if you look at the 19th century, whether it's creating the you know, United Empire Loyalist genealogy, whether it's creating um, Acadian ge geologies genealogies in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, it's it's again sort of a, a very um, long-standing part of Canada's past.